Hey guys, Scott Zarek here, and today I'd like to talk about sequencing the three note per string patterns. So, one of the cool things about three note per string patterns is that you have the same number of notes on every single string. So, in this case, three. And what we can do is out of the three note per string patterns, is we can come up with different um, logical patterns in terms of the way that we play the notes. And a very common sequence is known as thirds. And when you're playing thirds, what you're doing is you're playing every third note of the scale. So for example, if I start on the note C, my next note is E. Then I've got D to F, E to G, and so on. That's basically taking the C pattern in the key of C and just playing through the naturally occurring major and minor thirds. So once again, that's called thirds. And it's a great way to take your scales and to break them up into more musical patterns. So remember when you're playing through these uh, strict alternate picking and you're going to want to practice them slow and methodically with the metronome. So let's go through that pattern at uh, playing eighth notes at 60 beats per minute. So, two, three, four. Take that all the way up to 100 beats per minute, and when you get there, back it back down to 60, and then you can start playing 16th notes. When you're descending, you can actually shift up into the next pattern. So I could take the C pattern and I can descend in the D pattern. And that's going to sound something like this. So definitely a great way to you know, start mapping out your fretboard. You could, you could move that sequence of thirds into any one of the three note per string patterns. So let's say, still in the key of C, I could go down to G, and uh, here's playing major and minor thirds out of G. You could also connect a couple strings linear, so I could take the B and the high E and I could run through um, a couple of different patterns. So definitely a great way to uh, start mapping out your fretboard, um, and they're very musical. Uh, I think uh, one of the most common examples of thirds that come to mind, um, especially in the, the genre of rock music and progressive rock, is um, in the bridge section to Tom Sawyer by Rush. <laughs> And 
what you can do is you can take that feel and you could actually apply it to one of the other three note per string patterns. So if I go back to the C pattern, you get something like this. So definitely, uh, you know, you, you can see how we've uh, just taken uh, some straight ahead scales as three note per string patterns and we've spliced them up a little bit by using sequences. So um, have some fun with that. My name is Scott Zarek and until next time, keep on rocking.